Because often, like, we identify just with, you know, our views, our ideas, who we think we are. That's very often what makes us, you know, I am a Buddhist, you know, I am a, a Christian, I am a liberal, I am a, a, a right-wing Nazi, or whatever else you think you are. Sometimes that when we make those sort of assumptions, and those assumptions are very, very deep, the sense of self, the sense of who we are, a lot of times is that we're unwilling to change. And it's that unwillingness to change, that unwillingness to accept that our sense of self will always be sort of uh, evolving, changing, never fixed. And it's good to be changing, it's good never to be fixed. You feel much more free that way. <clears throat> but there's one um, story which uh, is an old story from the Buddhist texts which uh, very rarely do I mention here. It's a simple story, but it's, you know, it stood the test of many, many centuries, and it's very indicative of why it is that people get so stubborn sometimes, they just won't listen. And it's a story of these uh, two people, two poor villagers who decided to go sort of a long distance away to try and find their fortune. And they, you know, they heard that there was this abandoned town uh, you know, when the people abandon the town, they might find something there. So they went into this abandoned town, not quite sure why you know, people just left this ancient city. And while they were walking there, they found some hemp. Now the hemp, they have this little reed and they strip off the bark, which is like a fibre which you can use for, you know, these days making rope, in those days like making thread, you know, to make some hemp and thread. It's similar but not quite the same to the type of uh, fabric we use in jeans. So they found this discarded you know, hemp which no one wanted, that would be worth a, you know, a few bob as they say. So they both collected it all up and they started carrying the bundles of hemp. And then after a short while, someone found some hempen thread. And obviously the thread, and that's what you want hemp for, is actually to make it into thread. So one of the guys said, ah, oh, you know, I can throw my hemp away now and take the, the thread instead. But his friend said, no, nah, you know, I've already sort of made this into a parcel, yeah, this will do me. And so one changed for a better uh, commodity, while the other one kept the old one. And after a short while, then they found some hemp and cloth. The guy who changed, first of all, would change again. The other guy said, no, my old bunch of hemp is good enough. And then they found some flax, which is used to make linen. The guy who had the hemp and cloth said, no, I don't need this, I'll take the flax, it's much more valuable. The guy who still had the bundle of hemp said, no, this is good enough for me. And they had this whole series where one fellow would change from hemp to hemp and thread to hemp and cloth to flax to linen thread to linen and then they found some silver and then they found some gold and because one guy just would not change one guy arrived home with just a bundle of hemp where his friend arrived home with a bundle of gold and they said the guy who came back with a bundle of gold was very well received by his family and friends. But the guy who came back with a bundle of hemp, he did not give satisfaction or pleasure to anybody. Now that was like an old simile which the Buddha gave. And it was specifically aimed at why we never want to change our views and ideas. Why is it that when we have some sort of idea and a view, why is it we're so resistant to changing it when there's something better comes along? It's fascinating. The reason is because you now once you own something, and that's the hemp I found, it almost like becomes you. And that's me, and it's like some of me is dying and I have to get another self, another identity. For a lot of people, you know, you can maybe do that when you're young, but when you're old, no, sort of, you know, this Buddhism is good enough to me. This Christianity is good enough to me. 